What's up y'all? So I'm gonna show y'all something really cool on how to adjust the height from doing something like this on a burn to doing something like this. So naturally where everything is going to be tuned to something like this and my head uh, is going to be, and uh, like my focal point is going to be aligned for something like this thick. Whenever I get into something like this thick, of course, you know, it's gonna be thicker because of this. It's going to really throw it off and it's gonna be really just, you know, not as fine and precise and it's gonna be just really ugly and just doesn't look all that good. So this is a short, quick, simple video. So you work right here on your bed whenever you are burning something and then it's gonna burn it perfectly. And then whenever you uh, are burning something like this, you can't really bring this up and down with the Monport K40. Uh, so what you do actually is you're going to take all of your materials out of there and then you're going to remove this part of the bed actually. So let's go ahead and get that removed real quick. All right, so now that we have the four screws removed, we can just simply come in here, uh, use something to kind of pry it up. Use something to pry it up, there we go. Put that off to the side somewhere. And then now, this actually acts like a uh, clamp. So now, I can simply get my work piece, pull this back, put it at the height of where that thickness where it's tuned into so I can kind of adjust it like that and I can make my fine tuning and so now it is the same height and so now whenever I burn on this piece it is going to be uh, nice and tuned to the, the position that it is so let's go ahead and get this fired up and get everything fired up um, Let's go ahead and get everything fired up. Words are really hard and do like a little test burn on here. It might go off and burn some other things, but I just really want to show you uh, burning on something like this. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so as you can see, I've just got a simple shape here, uh, nothing fancy. I just want to show you how this is going to burn uh, using a thicker piece of material in the clamp. So let's go ahead and start burning. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, really nice, clean line. Looks great. You know, it's nice and fine. There's a spot that I kind of messed up on, so the lines are crisp and clean. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the plate back on, and I'm gonna show you what it's like if I were to not lower it. So, yeah, fit on so let's see. Let's flip it, I think here is where it's at. So all right so as you can see a lot thicker of a line this is what it should be this is what it was because of the thickness of this uh, I think this is half inch or three quarter inch maple, I wanna say. So, okay, so now that we have done it with the maple and the thicker maple, uh, the thicker material, now we are going to do it with just the regular thickness. I think this is five millimeter ply, I wanna say. So, we'll go ahead and do this real quick and show you. Turned on air assist, which I'm um, not really too sure why. I guess it simply kind of made it blow off a little, little funny, but either way, you can see the crisp point line. You can see right next to each other, very similar, almost identical. 
like I said, I shouldn't have thrown that other variable in there, but either way, you can kind of see exactly how it is. So when you do have the thicker materials, you know, you pull up this board and you have this like clamp piece so that way you can use it like that. Um, what I'm going to do now, so I don't have to remove that, because you can see it does have the screws uh, like I removed before, I'm going to actually be removing this whole base right here and get a scissor lift. Uh, there's one that my buddy Patrick over at Creative Workshop uh, put me onto that is really nice. I want to say it's only about this area, but either way, the thing is, if I'm going to be cutting larger pieces, you know, I'm not going to be needing, you know, a whole lot of like flat space for it. I can just put the bigger piece on the, uh, the smaller area and then if anything cuts, uh, it'll just fall off the side. But either way though, this just kind of is a quick little tutorial just to show you exactly how to do the uh, engraving uh, on thicker material. I mean, you can see the five millimeter compared to the actual, you know, like I said, half inch or three quarter inch. It's, I mean, it's significantly thicker. But yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, do all the things so that way, uh, you know, more people can see these videos and stay tuned for more videos uh, on the mock board and all other wood related things and laser things. So thanks for watching guys.